So we're going to get to this game in a second, but I want to use it as a big picture learning example. You know, I was on a 29 and 7 baseball run entering last night. And of course, it was $5 Tuesday for everybody at wagertalk.com, which means thousands, if not thousands, of people are having to in to get those $5 plays from everybody. And I had the Royals last night. It was actually during that 29 and 7 run. I think it's the only time I've laid more than like a dollar thirty on any game. They're a dollar fifty-five. And of course, it doesn't come through. And that's just how it works. And it's just a perfect example of what I told everybody in the videos yesterday was don't buy the $5 play. Get a longer-term subscription and play consistently yep. every day. So we'll see if people listen or not, Prez. I'll let you chime in on that real quick before we get to the analysis. But it's what I call the kiss of death, right? 29-7 and seven run, and then you have that $5 play, and everybody, of course, probably jumps in and gets the solo game only. Yeah, and we see it on our $2 Tuesdays, right? And there's just there's so much freaking pressure, too. But Steve, both you and I know the only way to win buying sports better, buying sports handicappers is to buy long term. Um, and especially with you, man. Uh, but we've got literally three and a half minutes left. So who's winning this game? And then we'll take apart Iowa and Minnesota in college football. So to kind of transition on that result last night, the Royals were in a very good spot, obviously. I liked them. They were favored, and they come up flat. And that's always a huge red flag for me in any sport, not just baseball. And now Kansas City has lost three straight, and they are up against it tonight as a home dog. Huge line adjustment based on last night's game, and that's because Hubel's on the mound for the Tigers. He's been fantastic this season, a 2.5 ERA. And going back to the start of August, 2.3. So he's been even better down the stretch Alec Marsh, meanwhile, a four and a half ERA uh, since early July in his last seven starts. Bad sign that the Royals lost last night. That was the spot. I do not trust him tonight. Lay the short favorite with the Detroit Tigers on the road.